What's up guys, Meatloaf here. In today's video, we're gonna be going over some of the stuff that happened in DevCast number nine, which happened today, which is August 28th, 2023. There was quite a few things that they talked about, but mostly it was pretty much the same stuff that we've been hearing for the past three weeks, pretty much. It was all about community servers and all about how they're going to implement them, how the progression is going to be. And it was just a lot of the stuff that we've just heard before. And a lot of us were very irritated with the fact that they weren't talking about anything new. So I do have a list of stuff that I wrote down from that DevCast meeting just to kind of give myself some personal notes of stuff that I need to talk about. And we'll leave the biggest thing for me for the end. <clears throat> so to start off, somebody asked about supporter packs and if there was going to be more coming so they do have a supporter edition of the game that you can purchase they said that there's no plans to have any type of extra supporter pack so a supporter pack 2 and that is not planned to be coming out or even planned to be th thought about anytime soon the community servers as far as the readiness of them and this was from their own mouths are kind of ready um in quotes which is funny to me because they've been talking about them and working on them for so long now that how can they not be all the way ready so this week the community servers will be coming out which the new update they didn't say a date while i was in there but the new update is coming out at some point this week and when that happens there will be community servers in the server browser and the full release of community servers where you can fully edit them will be later on down the road. There will be full progression servers where you have complete ability to progress and un have unlocks. And then there will be no progression servers for the servers that are completely modded. And you will be warned before joining them that, hey, you're not going to get any type of XP or unlocks when you join the server. From the looks of it... I would say the community is kind of split right now. Uh, there's the community that is more into aiming and movement, and they're just starting to take stuff away from us. And like I said, I'll talk about that towards the end of the video. Um, a couple other things that they talk about. Like I said, the update is coming out this week no exact date that i know of if i do find a date i'll make sure to put it in the description um there really isn't a lot going on the stream literally started and they asked one of the devs if they had anything they wanted to show off and the devs straight up said no not really like completely monotone no urgency to announce any type of content, any plans, nothing. Me and about five other people continuously asked about any upcoming content. Hey, the servers are really bad right now. Can you just hit a reset really quick? Like everything, everything was ignored. They didn't answer any questions that weren't from people that you could tell were people that don't do anything other than snipe or run around with armor on. Um. They did say one thing about content, and that was that all content won't be worked on until after the community servers are completely fully released. So that could take a month for all we know. We don't even know. Nobody knows. Like, there's no content planned right now. There's no roadmap. There's nothing. And everybody seems to be okay with that, apparently. Um, the current percentage loss is now up to 54%. So two days ago, it was at 52. Now it's at 54. So two whole percent in two days. Which is not good, but apparently that's really... The game's doing fine. Drops are normal for multiplayer games that come out. Of course they're normal, but it's still not good. Um, Another thing that really kind of concerned us was they announced that while you, they are changing it to where when you prestige, your gun kills and gun stats remain the same. We knew that was coming, but from our understanding, that was the only thing that was going to stay. But they announced that all skins and attachments will remain unlocked 
even when you prestige, all you have to do is level up to unlock the gun again. They basically said there is no point to prestiging anymore because all you're grinding for is to unlock the gun that you previously previously had. Why? Why you made prestiging irrelevant and useless. So why would you do that? So that was really questioning. Um couple other things they are coming out with more prestige and content create creator style skins not know if you're gonna have to pay for it or it's gonna be a pack that you have to buy something like that community servers will be able to accept donations to turn on full progression um in a lot of games you get banned for donating to a server uh, but they announced that if the creator or the owner of the community server wants to take donations to turn on full progression they are completely able to do that it is in the tos as allowed so i guess that's kind of cool um yeah it seems like their focus right now is just community servers they seem to not give any shits about content or the future of their game and they think that community servers are going to save the game and bring back all eighty-six thousand people that uh, played the game at the beginning so um as far as we know over 3 million copies of the game sold uh the game's peak yesterday was about 17k today it only got up to about 10k while i was streaming um it's dropping and it's it's going bad but everybody seems to think it's fine and it's gonna be fine and the future is fine and all that um as far as the big thing that we discovered, so I found out today that you can go into the beta testing mode of the game where you can down upload or update to the beta version, which is the new update that's about to come out and test everything. But you can only do it in, a, in the firing range. So I tested some guns, which we'll talk about in the next video. And then I, but the main thing that I tested was the leaning. If you are somebody that abused the lean or AD binded the lean or just use the leaning in general, uh, rip to you, rip to me even. Uh, GG, it's been fun. Um, leaning is completely destroyed. They said we didn't nerf the leaning. All we did was nerf the, or just slow it down or nerf the lean spam, but they completely nerfed the leaning. Them nerfing the spam and doing what they did, which I will show you, it completely nerfed the leaning. So why would they do that? And then they said on stream, we didn't nerf the leaning, but they did. They literally did it. And people are like, oh, all they did was nerf the sp spamming. No, you, they don't, people don't understand. They nerfed the spamming, which means they nerfed the leaning. And it's just really ridiculous. So this right here is the beta version of the game, and this is where I went to test out the leaning. So if you check this out right here. So you saw how I quickly leaned right there, and then it stopped. That wasn't me stopping... That wasn't me removing my fingers off of the keys. Look at how slow I'm leaning. That is what they did to the lean. That is what's coming out in the next update. Look how slow you're leaning. But they said, we didn't nerf the lean. It's completely just ridiculous. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to like and subscribe. I will be dropping updates on everything going on in BattleBits more in the future. Like always, I appreciate the support over on Twitch and the new subscribers on YouTube. And we will see you guys on the next one. Later.